Hello, and thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. I got a lot going on here for you. As you can see in the background, let me just move over this way. I got my Mardi Gras things hanging up there from backstage in New Orleans. What a great time we had. So we are going to get started. I'm going to flip the camera. Well, first, let me tell you about the specials that are going on. You can get the mug that you just saw me holding up by going to stampersdelightshop.com. We've got a lot of branded merchandise from the Stampers Delight shop. Um, great gifts, ideas for your friends, teammates, or for yourself. You can also get matching sweatshirt, t-shirts. Just go check it out. Let me know how you like that. Also, we have the Perfect Partners, which started September 1st, where you can get six dies that match current stamp sets in the catalog. But if you don't have the stamp sets, it's great because you can order them as a bundle. Also, just a reminder, World Card Making Event is October 1st. The registration link is below. I will show you a pre-order that you can get now of one of the stamp sets that they will be showcasing. Also, don't forget my online class. Card class is with the sweetest Christmas for the month of September. Links are all below. Here are some sample cards. And then with the class, you're going to get the card kits. You're going to get the glitter paper. You're going to get the both ribbons and the sequence. So definitely check that out. I also have added a sampler class. You can do the card kit class or the sampler class, or if you want to do both, you can save $5 on the sampler. Donna Gray and I also have our Sweet Alicious Fun Fold Club for September. We're using the Splendid Day Sweet. Oh my gosh, you're going to love the Fun Fold I am doing and it looks very complicated, and it is not. So I absolutely love this new fun fold you're going to see. We also have weekly deals, uh, things that are going on sale. This is what's on sale for this week. So uh, the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, and the 22nd, while supplies last, you can get these items this week on sale. And then, of course, on the 8th, we'll have another list. Don't forget to sign up for my free newsletter and tutorials all the links will be below so let me flip the camera now okay so just to remind everybody stampersdelight.com is how you reach me stampers delight shop is the apparel shop i now have a new uh email address to keep it easier and simpler it is stampersdelight1 at gmail.com if you're using my old email you can use that for the time being because it will get updated but you definitely want to make sure you have my new email address now what i was saying about the world card making day they will be using Cottage Rose, Cottage Wreaths, and the new Warm Welcome. The new Warm Welcome, you can order that now. It's available now, and there's the host code. Again, just go to my blog, stampersdelight.com, or join my um, newsletter. Jeez, I'm forgetting what I'm going to say here. we got so many things going on. And you can pre-order that set now so that you can stamp along on free card making day world card making day on october 1st you do have to register for that it is a free event you don't have to order anything but if you'd like to order these just go to stampersdelight.com and order the bundles okay i think i have everything i'm going to show you those stamp sets that now you can get as a bundle or if you already like let's say you already ordered the yeti to the party you can order just the dies to go with it. If you haven't ordered that set, you can order it as a bundle. You want to use the codes that are on the link. We also have this little pig, uh, this birthday piggy. I will be showcasing these in the next couple of videos. We have the fresh cut flowers. Lots of dies there. I, of course, I did do a card with that. And I'll be doing some more with that. My last video was with the Apple Harvest. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. You can see I cut out a lot of pieces here. Go back and check that video out. And then here's the dies, which are all messed up. <laughs> okay. Um, the one I'm going to be showing today is the trimming the tree. And that, of course, is in the annual catalog. But now you can get the matching dies and lots of dies here. Okay, but I won't be using them all, but you can order that as a bundle now. <coughs> Excuse me. There is one more set, Waterfall Canyon. I do not have that set. I know everybody thinks I order every single thing in the catalog. I do order quite a bit, but I did not order that one yet. So I'm going to showcase this one for today. So the first card I'm going to show you is one that I did a while ago. I did change it, though. Because now we have this gorgeous dies, and they have these great sentiment dies. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got three of them. You got this one, and this one, and then this little tiny one right here. Oh my gosh, I, I just love this. Okay, so this is the die that I used for that. So I updated the card using the new die there. The other card that I had done previously was a shaker card and this is sweet sorbet this was um pear pizzazz that i used and there again is that new die which i used this way but you could also turn it this way and use it and then of course i cut the tree out with the dies and i want to show you the little christmas balls on there are our um pearlized enamel effects you're going to see me using those. Though They do have to dry. So this was a shaker card. So again, this is uh, one of the sets that you can get as a bundle now. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to show you a card first, and it's a wiper card. I actually got this idea from my friend Kim Dent. So shout out to Kim Dent. And this card goes, I changed it up just a little bit. We like to case, but we like to make it our own. So there is the wiper card. And then it just closes up back this way. And there you can see I used the dies. I did some stamping here and then I used, let me just show you which die I used here. The smaller die, which adds some, let me just grab my, take your pick tool. And you can lift those up and make them stick out a little bit. Mine are, mine are uh, laying down because I got the uh, effects on there. So again, this is a wiper card, and I am gonna show you how to do that right now. Now I do have, I'll be telling you the sizes and everything that you need, but don't worry, they will be on my blog. So the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of five and a quarter by 11 cardstock. And I am going to score that at one and three quarters, one and three quarters, and then three and a half. Now, because this arm comes out, you could slide this over and score this side, but I find it easier flipping it around. And doing it again at one and three quarters, three and a half, and then I'm going to bring in my bone folder, and I'm going to give that a real good crisp edge. Very similar to what you would call a, a Z-fold card. Okay, so again, that's how it looks right there. Okay, that's the first part. Now you're going to need a lot of little pieces, but no worries. The back piece that it gets which is actually your base, 
Okay, that is four and a quarter by five and a half. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue that right down. I find that if I put everything together, instead of leaving the pieces on the side, I tend not to lose this. This is gonna layer right inside there, just like that. And there's your card. Okay, now the next thing that you're gonna need, let me just grab these. You're gonna need three pieces. And I'm using real red. This one was sorbet, sweet sorbet, and pear pizzazz. But I've changed it up. I'm going to use different colors. You need three of these pieces, which are one and three quarters by four. And then you're going to need three pieces of designer series paper, whichever one you want. This is one and five eighths by three and three quarters. And you're just going to line those up this way. I used a pattern that really doesn't matter if it, see, it's kind of going the same way. Okay, you don't want to have something like, well, see, this pattern works great. You could also, what I did on this one, just to show you, is I used the flip side right there. So I had two and then this one. So you could actually flip it that way. And that's what gave me the different um, designer series paper. But for this one, I'm going to use the same edge or the same designer series paper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that right in there. And this one right in here. This is such a fun, quick, easy, fun fold. I don't know, I could see this great for Halloween cards too. Like with our witch on there. I might have to do one of those. And I'm just going to add that. Okay, now I have my three panels. I'm going to bring the card base in. And what you're going to do is you're going to layer one here and one here, gluing it on this side. So I find it easier to glue it down here. I like to use three strips there of my stamp and seal. And then I'm just lining it up. I am going a, a little bit above that red, okay? Because I want to make sure they all fit in there. Okay, so it would look like that when it's closed. This side, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to bring that down just a bit. Okay, so there's the start of your card. Now, this one's going to go in the middle, but it gets glued on the opposite side. So we're going to go ahead and add some stamp and seal here. And I'm going to add that right inside that one, lining it up. There is your wiper card. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to bring in a piece of the garden green. I'm using real red and garden green. This is three by three. And I'm going to change it up a little bit. You can see I stamped on this. So I stamped a background here, and then I added those trees. But I'm going to make this one a little bit different. So I'm going to add a piece of two and three quarters by two and three quarters of that beautiful glitter paper. And that is actually going to get glued right on that middle panel. Just like that. So I can go ahead and do that now because I'm going to be doing something else later. So let me just add some glue. Be careful where you're putting your glue. You don't want it to go too far over and get stuck on those. So I'm going to add that right here. So there's the wiper. Okay. So I'm done with that for a moment. I'm going to bring in my stamps and dies. And I'm gonna bring in my large tree and my smaller tree, the detailed one. I'm gonna grab a piece of our Whisper White. I'm gonna use Garden Green and Pear Pizzazz. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the larger image. And definitely want to use my mat here because it is a photopolymer. And 
I'm going to stamp that right in the center. Then with the smaller one, I'm going to take the garden green. I'm going to put it right inside that center right there. And now I have two-toned green. i move those over there and hope I don't get my hands in them. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out using the large die. There are a lot of dies in here. Definitely more bang for your buck on this one. I'm going to bring in my machine. I'm going to lay that down right there. This is a larger stamp. I don't think I need a post-it note. Famous last words, right? <laughs> there is my tree. And there's a basket. There's a little, this little thing here, you know, you can put at the bottom of your tree like that. There's a lot of pieces. I mean, there's ornaments. There's just so many pieces to this bows. I love it. I think I'm going to use a bow for this one. What I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to lay it, layer it right here. You know what? I think I am going to use this little one. I'm going to see if I have some pear pizzazz here and I'm going to add some more trees, but I'm going to make them lighter. So I'm going to add two of the pear pizzazz. So let me bring that back in. This is my card on the fly because I don't have, I don't have a sample of it. I just decided what I was going to do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and I might use these, I might not, but I want you to see how great these dies are. So we are going to put that in here. So you definitely want to get these because they are while supplies last. Okay, so there's the first piece. Also, if I didn't mention the Fun Fold Club for September, uh, will be a couple of days late because Donna was in New Orleans with me. And of course she's traveling back to Australia. And today's set, today, uh, she should be back. Today is the second. So no, just know that we will be uploading those videos this week, this weekend. And then here's those dies that I was talking about. And you can just go through and poke these however many you want. Now, I have a lot of people ask, yeah, but they're going to get mushed in the mail. Yeah, but you, you can still see that great effect of having the trees branches. I'm just going to bend them a little bit so I get a few of them. It's going to go behind that big one, so they are going to get bent a little bit, but I want to show you how they work. Okay, so again, I'm just picking up a few of them. This was actually one of the first sets I bought when the new catalog came out because, first of all, I'm a sucker for Christmas. And the first thing I thought to myself is, wow, I wish they had dies. Well, wish and you shall receive. Okay, so now I have all these little pieces. Okay, so you can see how they pop up. Now I'm going to put one on each side here. And I am going to use dimensionals. I also get asked a lot of times, well, if you, you know, if you make it too puffy, do you have to use more postage? Well, you might, but the way I look at it is we went through all this trouble to make these gorgeous cards. Let's mail them out. I'm going to add that one right there. I know what you're saying. I don't need another Christmas set, but you'll want this one. And the great thing about the trees is you can use those for fall cards, spring cards, birthday cards, any kind of card you want. I'm going to put that right there. And again, I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to use dimensionals. I'm going to switch to my large dimensionals. I just used the small ones just now, but now I'm going to switch to the large ones. And really, three will work. You just don't want to go over too far. Oh my gosh, look at that. Right? Right? 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, which banner do I want to use? This one or this one? I like the little one only because I like to see those trees. So what I'm going to add next is some Winkostella to the edges. Not doing the whole thing. Just adding some Winkostella to the edges so it shimmers a little bit. Stands out. Okay. I'm going to bring in this nice little oval die. And of course, I have this paper, so I'm going to use that again. And I'm just going to cut one of those out. Now you can stamp it and then cut it out, but oh, I need my other plate. For this type of die, I find it just easier. Just cut it and then stamp right on it. Okay. Here is my little die, and I'm going to use the Peace and Joy. I'm going to use Real Red. And Kim, if you're watching, thank you for this idea. And it was great to see you in New Orleans. I'm going to put that right there. And again, I am going to use dimensionals. Now I'm going to use the small ones again because I want one on each side. So I'm going to use the little minis. And this is your take your pick tool. And of course, I have the brush end on there, which screws off and you can put the the other pieces that go with it. The little pal, uh, like I would call it a knife, but it's not really a knife. Little palette kind of thing. I'm going to put that right there. OK, so now instead of having here, I use the stars. I think I want a bow. So let me get that little bow out. And you can you can just cut the bow that way, but I'm going to stamp this. Just putting it on my block here. Again, saving paper. I'm going to use that scrap paper that I have here. I'm going to take the real red Gonna ink that up. I'm gonna use the other side because when I put it through my machine, sometimes I get little pieces I don't want. There's a cute little bow. So let's cut this bow out now. I use my plates until they are unusable. You can see I have a lot of use on these. Okay, we're just going to cut that out. There, I have my little red bow. And I think a small dimensional will work. I'm dimensional crazy. How many of you are get carried away with the dimensionals? Don't want to put it up too high because I need to make sure that this card opens. Okay. Just like that. So we're almost done with the front. Let's grab a piece of cardstock for the inside, which is three and three quarters by five. Now, of course, this goes in this way. So I'm going to stamp that first. And I am going to just switch my sentiments on my block here. And again, using the real red. And then I'm just going to get a piece of blotter paper. And I cut my blotter paper in half because I only use parts of it. So it saves a little bit. We're going to grab those green trees again, starting with the pear pizzazz. 
And then going right inside there, I'm going to do the green. And what I can do here is take the real red and put a bow right there. And flip that over. So don't forget, these dies are while supplies last. Grab the right card. And you can flip this this way to get the inside done. Put that right on the inside. Now you notice I'm not decorating the front yet, and, and that's because those little pearls have to dry. So I'm going to do that last. The next thing I'm going to do is grab an envelope and again do the same thing with my trees. No naked envelopes. Go back in with the dark garden green. Flip that over. And then I'm going to take that red bow. I'm going to add a bow right there. How many people put bows on the top of their tree instead of a star or an angel? I do both. One tree has a bow. My big tree usually has an angel. My son keeps telling me he wants a star on there. For a few years, I did put a star because that's what he wanted. He, he enjoyed that, but he doesn't live home anymore. Okay, so there's my envelope. So let me bring this back in. Now, again, you can see the wiper card. Very easy, great fun fold. When it's closed, it looks like that. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in those pearlized enamel effects. You do want to let these, this dry. And I'm just going to add some here. I'm going to add some on the tree. I don't think the other tree needs it. The little trees behind it. I'm going to add two more down here. And this is the red. And then I'm going to go back in with the white, being very careful. Let me just start this one. I might have to buy some more. I use this a lot. I'm going to put a little white one right there so it shows up. And then I'm going to add some more. White pearls. You could actually even use this to make it look like glittery snow. I think that's plenty. What do you think? Whoop. And there you have it. There's my wiper card. Again, everything is listed below the directions and the sizes or measurements will be on my blog. Go to stampersdelight.com for the measurements. I hope you enjoyed this video on my wiper card with trimming the tree, the new bundle that you can purchase now. Don't forget stampersdelight.com and don't forget to sign up for my newsletter, which is free with free tutorials. Until next time. Oh, I almost forgot. Happy Labor Day weekend, everyone. Enjoy, stay safe, and I'll be back next week. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.